Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to a popper video here on the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to be playing Red Green Cascade Aggro, a deck that uh, there was recently a deck tech on by the professor over at Delarian Community College. So I saw that deck tech, I was like, wow, this looks like a lot of fun. So I decided to try it out for all of you folks. Before I begin with my own little mini deck tech, I would just like to remind you that if you enjoy the video, be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe to get updates for whenever, I, for whenever I post new content, and be sure to share the video with your friends. But with that out of the way, let's get to the deck tech and then to the matches. Okay. Hello, Smurf. How's it going? Family's going. Family's doing well. Okie doke. So today we are going to be playing Red Green Cascade Aggro. Um, it isn't an aggro deck at heart, but it's got some very cool synergies built in. So we run 18 lands in the deck. Oh, well, I'm just going to go through the creatures first. So we're going to move this away. Move this away. And move these. Okay. So the deck is built around these two drop creatures. Um, Mud Brawler Cohort, 2 mana, 2-2 two, two haste, as long as I control another red creature, which I will because all of my creatures have red in their cost. Uh, Burning Tree Emissary, which is one of the best creatures in, uh, in the deck because it lets me cast multiple spells on turn 2 whenever I have it in my opening hand, and all, all of my cards can be cast for that red-green cost. Uh, you see I have a lot of hybrid mana symbols. All of my, like, two drops can. Uh, Rip Clan Crashers is a two mana, two-two haste that's also multicolored, which is relevant. Jung Hot Blade is good because as long as I have another multicolored permanent, it gets plus one, plus one in haste, and a two mana, three-two haste is above rate. Uh, Naya Hack Blade, a Naya Hush Blade is a two mana, three-two shroud if I have um, another multicolored, so that's why I have all these multicolored cards. Um, they're kind of work together well. Curd Ape cares if I have forests, so it's a one mana two three most of the time. Frenzied Goblin is just a creature that I can spend extra mana on because, like, on turn three I can play another two drop and use Frenzied Goblin for uh, its ability. And then I have a couple of Goblin Heal Colors, a, a bit of a mana sink. I can dash it in, get in some good hits. In my uh, other slots, I have Lightning Bolt for extra damage. Um, Fire Wild Border Post. It's another multicolored card for. Um, the, the hack blades because all it says is permanent, same with the hush blade. So border post is like another land that um, functions as another multicolored card. And then I have elephant guides for some making my creatures big. Uh, and as long as I don't get blown out as I cast it, it'll at least even give me a 3 3. And then the deck's namesake card, Violent Outburst. Um, it gives my creatures plus one plus zero, so it pumps up my team. A lot of my creatures are going to have haste, so they're going to be attacking right away. If um, I think almost all my creatures have haste, so they're going to be attacking right away. Not all of them, but a lot of them have haste. So they're going to be attacking right away when they come into play, and all my creatures are going to get buffed. So this card is just going to be a pretty good value engine in the deck, even if it is a bit random. Uh, in the deck, we have four Evolving Wilds and then all basics, uh, because we are a two-colored deck and Popper doesn't have a ton of fixing. In the sideboard, I did tweak it a little bit from the Professor's deck list. I don't think the... Uh, dang, it was basically glorified Act of Treason. Uh, I don't think that card's great. So instead, I, I'll just go through the sideboard as I have it. Um, the de sideboard has two Blazing Volley, because if you cascade into Blazing Volley, you don't really want Electricery, because it'll only hit one thing. That's the kind of cool tech. Uh, but it's for, like, tokens a little bit. It's pretty good against Delver, and you can cast it on turn one uh, to kill a Boggle before they can start suiting it up, so it's good against that matchup, too. Uh, we have three Flame Slash for matchups where removal is really important. Two Natural State for Boggles and for Affinity. River Bow for Blue Decks, because um, it's really hard for them to deal with. Uh, Pulse of Morassa, um, just a little bit of life gain and some value against uh, Burn and other really aggressive decks. And then one Ancient Grudge. If you can Cascade into this against Affinity, it's really good. And then three Pyroblast for help against the blue decks. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the deck. Um, and we're going to jump into a Popper League with it. Uh, leagues... And I'm gonna try and get a match in. The deck looks very fun, so I will be interested to see how it plays out. And I will put a link to the professor's deck tech in the description um, so that you can see his take on the deck. I mean, he has the exact same deck. I copied his deck, but... So you can see what he has to say. Okay, we found our match. 
important to note, this is my first time playing the deck. So I'll be learning the way to play it along with you folks. Okay, let's see. Let's look at our hand as soon as we finish this window resizing. So we can get Forest, and then we can play Hushblade into Hushblade. Seems good. We have both of our colors. We have a Violent Outburst. Don't want to lead with the Hackblade because we'll get let it have haste. Okay. So they are playing a blue deck. We have a pretty good sideboard for blue decks. We're going to lead with our Wilds. Wow, the natural fairy miscreant not draw. So he's probably playing the, um, I don't know why he would play Evolving Wild in the mono blue version, so he's probably playing the um, red blue version. The forest. Lands aren't the end of the world. Okay, we're gonna cast our Hush Blade first. If he has days, it's kind of annoying for us. Okay, he does not have days. We're going to try and develop our board a little bit before we play the Violent Outburst. Yeah, so he is playing the red version. He bolts our Hush Blade. Okay. He has Counterspell up. Hmm. I'm then going to go Frenzy Goblin plus Hushblade here. So let's. Maybe we can go Frenzy Goblin plus Cohort. Yeah, let's do that. Try and bait out the Counterspell. Okay. Maybe that was a mistake because I am a little bit constricted on green mana. Okay, so yeah, I probably should have played my um, Hushblade, but I didn't want it to get countered. Because I care a lot more about the Hushblade than I do again about the 2-2. Okay. So he has a Scred in hand. I really want to draw a Forest here. That would be the best draw. Forest would let me play Hushblade and Hackblade, protect my Hushblade. Get in for three. Burning tree is also good. Okay, so I have four lands, so I can cast all three of these spells as long as I filter correctly. So that's one of the things you need to make sure you do. Note to self number one. Then play Hushblade, so he can't daze the Hushblade. Get in for three. Then I can Violent Outburst next turn so I can get in with my Emissary. Frenzied Goblin can also stop this guy from blocking. Okay, Cycling Ash Barons. He gets in in the air. I'm gonna get the rune on the ground though. Okay. So we know his two cards in hand. He didn't play a land yet. Oh, he whiffed. That's great for me. Oh. Oh, he must have played the Snow Covered Island already. Okay. Now we know the card in his hand is a Scred. Okay, so I think we're going to Violent Outburst before combat in case we hit something that uh, lets us uh, in case we hit something uh, that has haste. Okay, perfect. So we can kill an Augur of Bolas, um, which will stop his 
uh, other auger balls from blocking. Okay. So we're getting in for nine. Pretty good value. He got rid of his scred. Another auger bolos. Auger bolos is annoyingly good at blocking our stuff. He whiffed on the auger. Oh, that was such a good draw. We'll let him eat the Frenzy Goblin. He'll go to one. Okay, so he goes to four. He has nothing in play, I mean in uh, hand. And this lost shroud. Good draw. Thanks, Harmony7. I appreciate it. So if I attack with everything, I like to play popper videos from time to time, Harmony, and I'm pretty hyped for this deck. It's pretty sick. We have to attack with everything. He'll have to block here and block there, and then he goes to one, and I'll go to one. I can't beat a lot of his stuff. He doesn't... Yep. Oh, this has been so close. Also, welcome, Harmony. Gosh, if he finds a ninja of the deep hours, I'm dead, or a lightning bolt, I'm dead. What a close game. Boom, we got there. He concedes. Whoo, that was crazy. Crazy close. Okay, so we're going to bring in. River Boa, almost undeniably. Probably Pyroblast. I'm considering Blazing Volley. It kills Sprite. So these are the... I'm not considering Natural State Pulse, Flame Slash, or Ancient Grudge. These are the cards I'm considering. What seems bad? Um, they all actually seem pretty good. Elephant Guide is probably a liability against him. So I can probably afford to cut... If I cut elephant guides, so these are, I can't cut my lands. I don't love frenzied goblin against him. If I add another activated ability. Yeah, I traded Y for RP. I like to spice it up. Uh, I, ha I already have another Dominaria video for tomorrow. So I am switching it up for at least for now. And I'm really enjoying this deck. I found it from Tolarian Community College. And it is great. Okay. Frenzied Goblin might have to go. He does have a lot of cheap creatures. I think Mud Brawler Cohort is probably my weakest creature because it doesn't have any of the synergies with my multicolored matters things. Goblin Heal Cutter is pretty expensive. Um, so if I cut... I think he probably has Bounce Spells. I think the blue version. I'm not sure the red version. I think the red version runs removal instead. Blazing Volley kills Miscreants, Spellstutter Sprites, and Delvers before they flip. So I'm definitely cutting two Mudbrack for two River Boas. 
I'm definitely bringing in the Pyroblasts. I'll bring in three Pyroblasts for three Elephant Guides. Pyroblast is a pretty good hit off of Violent Outburst. Um, I don't want to dilute the deck too much. I'll run it like this. I'm going to take out the Elephant Guides. He has a lot of instant speed removal, so I might not be able to play Elephant Guide. And this is a fine hand. We have our Border Post on turn one, and then Burning Tree into Crasher. Perfect. And he does not have days. He's brainstorming, eh? Burning Tree Emissary is great in this deck. Burning Tree into Crasher is a nice little clock. Then I can play the Cohort. I'm just going to play the Crasher, get in for two. All my stuff has haste, which is pretty great. Now next turn I can play another Crasher. I can play the Cohort. Okay, so he's holding up a counter spell. So there's two ways to act in this situation. One, I could cast nothing. I definitely know I'm attacking before I do anything, though. And then I think I'm going to play two smaller creatures to play around the counter spell. I'm going to lead with Frenzied Goblin, because I don't mind if that one gets countered, because I don't really have the extra mana right now. Okay, so he did have the sprite. I didn't want to have my two drop countered. Because here I still get to develop the board on the board. And then I'm gonna go get a forest with the curd ape. So that I have a forest for curd ape. So I mitigated some of the damage of that counter spell. This way I protect my curd ape from Shock. I don't think he runs shock, but I'll, I'll just do it. Like if he wanted to go gush, replay land, scred. He could scred something. My other guy, I guess. He's attacking. Makes me want to just cast Violent Outburst. So he has up another Spell Stutter Sprite. Okay, that makes me change my mind. Didn't counter the Curd Ape. Hydroblast, okay. So I'm glad I didn't try to avoid Spell Stutter Sprite. He has only one card in hand. He's just trading one for one with me. 
and I still have Violent Outburst. I'm feeling like I'm in pretty good shape here. Ponder, okay. The thing about the Violent Outburst is you want to play it... I think I'm going to play it next turn, so that I can play two two drops the turn after. As long as you're spending all your mana, you're doing pretty well. Delver, okay. Double Delver. All his cards are on the table. Ooh, River Boa. Yeah, I'm still going to Violent Outburst. See what I cascade into. It's Bolt. I Bolt face, he goes to 11, then he goes to, this is gonna be three, six. So he would go to eight, then he'd go to five. I think I'm gonna Bolt Delver. Cause I don't want them both to flip and then I'm on a significant clock. Next turn I could maybe double spell these. I don't want to give him the option of blocking. Okay, he's got a preordain. He's gonna cast it for sure, yeah. And next turn I can hit him for six. So he's hitting me for five. Brainstorm, sure. Where'd he scribe that preordain? He put one on the top and one on the bottom. So he kept brainstorm on top. Now he's gushing. He did. He had a pretty good turn there. He blind flipped Delver into a bunch of stuff. Another Delver. I'm still not completely dead, even if he. Oh yes. I'm just gonna play right into any sprites he might have. Oh, that was so good. Now he has to jump. Oh, that was such a good... What the heck? This is disgusting. Now he has to jump with his Delver. Oh my gosh, that was vile. And now we're not dead to Bolt. Oh my gosh, that was like... We've... Both of these games, we've cast two Violent Outbursts, and it's been incredible. Wow. That was sweet. Okay, he's attacking us. His last cards are Ninja plus Bolt. He's gushing. Looking for Ninja. I don't know if Red Blue runs a Ninja. It probably does. Boom! He concedes. Wow, that was powerful. I think our deck looked great when we draw multiple Violent Outbursts in a row, though, so... Still definitely a small sample size, but that was that looked good. Our emissary, uh, like our violent outburst has such great hits at the two drop slot. Like all these haste guys, burning tree lets us cast stuff. Our hack all of our blades are good. Bolt is great. Our, our one drops are two threes. And this guy, which is maybe not a high enough impact hit, but it's good to just try it out. And the plus one plus zero is very relevant. Like that's like a good part of the card. Helps us with our clock a little bit. I'm not sure how our sideboard is because I think we might like when you play the deck a little bit more, you get a sense of what you can take in slash out of the deck. Um, and when you get that, you kind of figure out um, 
what you need in the sideboard for which matchups. So definitely a little bit rough around the edges. Like River Boa didn't feel like it was going to be that good there. Where that is probably the matchup where it would be at its best, in theory. This flavor text. Sheathe your swords, cudgels only. I see a new pair of waterproof trek boots slithering away. Hey, waterproof, that's where you get the island walk from. My match has been found. I would like to play first. We are going to have the mulligan. We need two lands. And this is a good hand. Okay, so turn one, we're going to border post. Turn two, we're going to play land, burning tree, rip clan. Turn three, we'd ideally elephant guide something. But hush blade's fine. We're going to put that on top. And then depending on what our opponent does, we could just slam Hushblade on turn two after our Burning Tree. So he's playing Swamps. Yeah, we don't want to play. Okay, we're going to go burning tree. Into Crasher. It just gets in more damage. If he has an edict effect, he can't get our husk blade anyway. I mean our hush blade. Okay, so he might be mono black. We're going to keep our Hush Blade. Uh, being on a mulligan against that is not a fun feeling. Ooh, that could be good. Heal Cutter could be just what we need, because with one more land, he's never going to block. We have him on a two-turn clock now. Thanks to the creatures on board. They combine for seven power. Wow, Wrench Mind wrecked me. I'm gonna sack this guy. Heal Cutter, I still have a two-turn clock. Perfect. And if he just has an Edict, then I can still kill him next turn. So he would need discard plus remove. I guess discard keeps him alive at one. Well, that can't block, so I think we got him. Rager's not blocking, and we got him. Well, that was sweet. We killed him on turn five, even though we discarded two of our cards. And Well, that was nice. Um, against Mono Black. I don't know if we have much for the matchup. I think our main deck is already kind of configured to beat it. Let's see. We don't want Flame Slash. His big threat is a five-powered guy. I mean, a five-toughness guy. Don't really want this. He might have Oubliette. Um, but we don't really want natural state against only one card that you could have. We could bring in Pulse of Morass if there's something especially bad. Pulse is just gen generically fine, but don't really want it because the life gain's bad. I think we're just going to run it like this. All of our cards are pretty relevant.
I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'm on the draw, and Elephant Guide's not great against his deck. It might be hard to stick a creature. I also don't have green, so I have a three lander that needs to draw another land. We're going to mulligan. And down to five. We'll keep this, though. Unless he has Wrench Mind, this hand's going to be good. Put that on top. Develop our entire hand on turn two. And just pray for no Wrench Mind. Definitely getting a forest here. Feels bad, man. Wrench mind with what he needed. Or we had like eight power on turn two. Two of it with haste. Brutal. Wrench mind got me. Now we need to draw land for our heel cutter. How many wrench mines can he run? Because they're kind of bad in multiples. Rager. We don't care about Rager as long as we draw a land here. I'm not going to attack. Just means we'll have less targets for our elephant guide. Please land. I need you. Curd ape. Not the end of the world, it can attack through the Rager. He has three cards in hand. Oh. He does have Oubliette. I'm glad I didn't play my Elephant Guide after all. This is why we didn't attack, because having no creature would be much worse here. Yikes. We both have three cards in hand. I just need to draw any land, and most of my spells are pretty good as well, so. Okay, he needs to draw two lands before those are online. Oh my gosh. We don't have that many three drops in our deck, but we've managed to draw every single one of them, pretty much. Yeah, I don't think we can win from here. You need to draw a land this turn or we're dead. Oh, okay, Pestilence. Wow, this has been... I don't know, I guess this is the downside of our deck. We don't have a ton of lands. I mean, Mulligan, we had a very good opening hand, though. If we were on the play, we would have won this game easily with that opening hand. And we're dead. I don't even need to do the math. We can't kill him. Okay, so on the play, I don't think we want to change anything. So he has two Oubliettes. He has a Pestilence, but this can't kill Pestilence. Life gain's not relevant. Yeah, we'll just run it back. Hope to kill him a little bit faster there. Maybe we were supposed to keep this seven, but it seemed weak. Elephant Guide seems bad in the matchup, but can't do a ton because Oubliette kind of wrecks it. Oh well. Maybe this is a matchup we should consider bringing in like a Relic of Progenitus or. Um, 
we should like could find a sideboard card that's good against this deck. That game definitely was winnable though. We just need to draw a third land before infinity. So they play first. This is a great hand, we'll keep it. We do have a lot of lands, but he has discard effects, so we're probably gonna be discarding several of them. Gonna lead with the Rip Clan Crasher. He's on a mulligan, which is good for us. We're gonna go Crasher into Huskblade, I think. I mean a Hackblade. The mana has felt pretty smooth, like in terms of colored requirements. Oh yes. Now I get to lead with the hack blade. Get in that juicy bonus damage. And then if I have to discard two to wrench mind, I'm already covered. I can just get ditch these extra lands. Oh yeah, feels good, man. Combo witches, okay. I'm gonna play the crasher and then hit him. Um, this way, I can out first next turn, and none of his none of my guys can be blocked by the witches. Okay, he takes five. Also, I'm going to keep my two lands in hand so I can discard them to a uh, wrench mind if he has one. But if he doesn't do anything, I'm just going to go land out first. He's cycling a land, that's a good sign for me. He's cycling another land, whoa. What am I gonna get? Cast my haste guy, he gets the plus one bonus as well. Now he has to jump with Kumba, which is. I guess he can block ping to kill this guy and then he'll take an extra point. He goes to two, all my creatures are lethal. Bolt is lethal. I have a husk blade in my hand that he won't be able to interact with. I think we got there. This figure, sure. Gonna play our hush play before combat so he can't kill emissary and go to one. And he concedes. Whoa! We just crushed him. Both games we were on the play. Just absolutely stomped on him. This deck is very fun. Okie doke.
I would like to play first. Winning the die roll is great. Oh, uh, man. Oh, uh, man. We're going to mulligan. Oh, we only have six forests in our deck and two border posts and four evolving wilds. And, okay, we'll keep this, even though it's bad. Put that on the bottom. This hand is bad. Mm. We're gonna get mountain. We're gonna have to get a two for one with our lightning bolt, I think, so we're just gonna take one here. Even if it turns on another pit skulk. Obviously, he's got the double pit skulk draw. Okay. Okay, maybe we'll be able to ambush one. I could have gone for an outburst there, but I'm going to try and like snipe a blocker. block there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to win this this game, I don't think. Vault Scourge, eh? Yeah, I just drew too many lands here. Yeah, I had to keep a sketchy hand. Arg. Feels bad, man. I'm gonna look for bolt here, and we're gonna concede. Okay, doke. We're gonna bring in our natural states and our not our blazing volley, but our flame slashes. Pulse of Marasa seems slow. Dealing one to everything is a bit bad too. Pyroblast, no. We don't need Ancient Grudge. Pulse is the closest to consideration here. I think we're going to get rid of Frenzied Goblin. Pulse returns one of our guys. I think we just need more interaction here. Cutting. Heal Cutter is a bit clunky as well. And this is one of our lands. Co a cohort. The elephant guides seem great. Yep. Oh, great. Oh, we're so close. If we had a second land, this hand would be great. We could go turn two, but... Two of our sideboard cards. We're gonna mulligan though. Down to five. This hand's at least keepable. It has a game plan. He's on a mold of five as well. We're gonna put that on top. Uh 
And we're not going to stack the old Evolving Wilds because we want to draw the, that land. Okay, Emissary's fine. We want to sack this to get a mountain, ideally, so. River Boa, interesting. We're going to try and kill him. We have him on a four turn clock if he doesn't do any blocking. And if he wants to hold back River Bow, it means he's really stumping himself on mana. Yep, and I can block all of his guys for days. These lands are really not helping me out. Oh, rats. Hmm. I am going to attack him here. If he wants to do a triple trade, I'm fine with that. He's just jumping. That's good for me as well. I just wanted to attack him when the river boa wasn't up. Because Solana Ledgewalker is a problem. And I'm going to have to race it. Another curd ape. That is a nice draw. So he has this. He can trade here, take five. I'll trade a Burning Tree Emissary for five damage, for sure. Yeah, he regens. Dang it, he drew the land. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Mono green has always given me problems. Dang it, we really needed a spell there. We could mind game him and put him dead on put myself dead on board. I think I'm gonna do that. If he attacks, then he deserves it, but I can't can't win if I just don't attack here. We just flooded a little bit too hard. We only run 18 lands. Oh, man. 
Siana Ledgewalker is really annoying. I think I lose that card every single time. It's basically like playing in boggles. Probably should have cited in my burning volleys. I forgot that they had the ledge walker plan post board. I did not think they'd use it against me though. Well, that was brutal. Let's join another game here. We're going to play out the full five matches. The games are pretty quick and we'll get a sense of how the deck works. We don't see the thing is that's what the we need to like change the sideboard a little bit because I think we could tweak it to be better in that matchup. And we didn't have anything for mono black either. Winning the die roll was nice. We also had some mulligan problems. Like our hands were would have been good, but we they lacked some some stuff. Like if we hadn't had the mulligan, I think we would have won too because we would have been faster and stuff. But that is the downside of playing a two-color deck. It's just like naturally less consistent. We're going to go Hushblade into Hackblade. Ardent Recruit A. Well, that was a great draw. I can see why Burning Tree Emissary is so good in this deck. I'm just going to play our Hackblade now. Did him for five on turn two. Jeez. Jeez. I, th I feel like we keep top decking Burning Tree and it's just like absurd. We're really taking advantage of the multicolor facet of this card. Okay. Goes for any fancy double blocks. We can bolt something. Okay, I think that's worth it. Look at that post combat. Wow, this is just nuts. This is like, this deck feels super powerful. It's so fun to play too. It's just like a very powerful synergy, aggressive deck. You can't target my hush blade. Okay. Opponent's on the mono white um, lifestyle over there. Looks like we got him. Okay. I think we're going to bring an Ancient Grudge. Our two natural states for sure. Blazing Volley seemed great in the early turns. Oh, I'm not sure how good it will be later. What do we want to take out? Elephant Guide seems bad against like Journey to Nowhere. They'll probably want some number. I'm going to take out Blazing Volleys. Um, I think I'm going to take out, I'm going to take out two Mud Brawler cohorts because they get stopped, stopped by the, um, uh, like three threes that he has. So I don't want too many of those in my deck. Easy mulligan, even though we have our ancient grudge. This tech will keep. Perfect, we needed that forest. So this is gonna see how good elephant guide is in the matchup. Uh, 
Okay, we're killing Sun Chaser for sure. I think my deck's just so much more aggressive than his deck that I just need to make sure he doesn't have too many um, three threes complicating things. Yikes. That was a very good draw, another bolt. Maybe I should have brought in some of my flame slashes. That could have been a thought. What a weird sideboard card. What the heck? I probably shouldn't have attacked there. Yeah, now he hits me for five. Ha, Elephant Guide makes a green elephant. Blocked for days. Hmm. I'm going to wait on this. Looks like it's going to stall out a bit. I could find my natural state, though. For his cop red, circle of protection red. I'll draw first. Yeah, I'll cast it. I want to find my... um. Answer. I'm just going to offer the trade. The trade, see. Dang it, he's just copping both of them. Nothing's going down. He has a flyer that I'm worried about, though. I'm just digging to my natural state. No! Oh, dang it. Now he has a flyer and a three turn clock. Give me natural state. Oh, circle of protection red is back breaking. It just kills my entire deck. <laughs> I 
I gotta have one more draw step. I don't even think I win if I draw it at this point. Yeah, I definitely need my flame slash. No, I'm dead. Got me. Dang it. Circle protection red is too good. Okay, time to bring in my flame slashes. Take out my elephant guides. I'd rather just kill his stuff and get through with all my guys than have one big guy that's sitting back on D. I would like to play first. We're going to keep this hand. It's not great because it has four lands in it. He's on a mulligan, which is nice for me, but he's probably just digging for cop red. I'm currently unable to deal with cop red. Going to get that F6 value. Perfect timing, Curd Ape, as usual. Here comes the cop red, I can feel it. Uh, back breaking. Oh, just Lone Missionary, that's fine. Oh, that's so good. I could have killed his clue, but if he spends his turn playing land and cracking clue, I'm probably fine with that. Okay. Now I can kill his clue. Oh, he's land screwed. This is great. He can already double block. If he wants to double block here, I can kill the clue in response. But he can already do this double block. Dang, he killed my multicolor one. That was the right one to kill. Oh, feels bad, man. No, he hit his land. Oh, this is an artifact creature? Oh my gosh, I totally should have killed that guy. There is only one one now. I need to draw my um, outburst. Outburst would be great. 
He only has two cards up in hand, but he does have a flyer. It's really annoying. Two flyers. But that's actually there's only a one one right now. This is going to snipe something good either way. Impressive final cards there. Jeez, please. Please, Violent Outburst. Ugh. Too many Thraben Inspectors. Can't attack him. I want a three turn clock. I have to find my removal spells. Buy me some time. That worked out nicely for me. Okay, that did not work out nicely for me at all. Rats. Oh. Oh my gosh. Infinite Thravens. So much inspecting. So much inspecting. Wow. Wow, I kind of thought his deck was bad after. I lose. I can't. He just kills me. Wow. That was so sad. That was so sad indeed. He just flooded. This deck can't win if it floods. Once you draw, you pass. Like, the deck is awesome when you draw exactly three lands, but after that, it has mana problems. I don't know how you could remedy that. I guess maybe we shouldn't have cut our heal cutters, but I don't even think we did cut heal cutters. Maybe we did. I don't think you can afford to cut heal cutters. Or elephant guides, really. You kind of need all these expensive cards to make sure you don't just flood. Let's try and get that spicy three and two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this deck's games play out very fast. I was just checking how long the recording is. It's like an hour and ten minutes for four matches. Pretty short. How would I change the sideboard? I would take out Pulse of Marassa. 
and I would add maybe another couple of heel cutters, maybe a rank couple of rancors. Rancor seems good. Because you kind of like run out of, you kind of just get chump blocked into oblivion against some decks. Maybe a 2 2 split of Rancor and Elephant Guide. Maybe this deck could run the Ciolano Ledgewalker package in the sideboard. That seems kind of good. Like four copies of Solano Wet Ledgewalker, and then a couple. Rancors in the main. I kind of like that idea. Takes a while to find an opponent. Oh, there we go. We lost the die roll. Well, we have been winning the die roll and losing the match, so. Oh, this is sketchy. We're gonna keep though. It's a bit, a bit slow for my liking, but it has a lot of my expensive cards. I'm on the draw. I need to hit one land. Is this the same opponent? Oh, it is. Oh, it's grudge match time, opponent. Oh, you are on. I'm going to find a forest here. I have more mountains that I could just draw. Oh, please, deck, just give me a land. Don't want to lose to this guy again. Okay, he's bone splittering. Yes, we hit our land. Okay. I wish that had been last turn, but. We're going to do this in case he plays another artifact to turn on the Ardent Recruit. And the next turn we can Elephant Guide up our Burning Tree. Booyah, I knew it would happen. No! Clobbering me, oh my gosh. Okay, I need to draw my lightning bolt. No. Dang it. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Okay, natural states coming in. Blazing Volleys coming in, Ancient Grudge coming in, Flame Slash coming in. What am I cutting?
Goblins out. Cohorts out. I guess on the play, maybe I don't bring in. On the draw, I think I'll take out uh, Blazing Volleys. Blazing Volley is probably bad in the matchup. So bring in these six cards for these six cards. Oh, yes, let's go. We have our Ancient Groge. Yes. We can even flash it back to kill his uh, homunculus. I'm gonna save my bolt for his flyers or for some extra reach. Feels bad, man. Close. It's cop red, no. No, I did not want to flood there. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh my gosh, not like this. Oh my gosh. All I need is a natural state. Oh 
Oh my gosh. This is not how you want it to go. Getting wrecked by Cop Red. Oh man, we drew eight lands. Rip in pepperoni. We don't even have any lands left in our deck. All we have is action, pretty much. I'm not gonna get greedy. I'm gonna just keep attacking for five. And I'll save it for a, a uh, for a flyer. The opponent has four spells in hand. He can't target my Naya Hush Blade with Cop Red. Big draw. <sighs> so he'll block with an Ardent Recruit, and then if I attack with both, he'll block this with an Ardent Recruit and use his stupid tooth. Attacking with both doesn't accomplish anything. I shouldn't have used my Flame Slash there, that was really bad. There's his third land. And the lone missionary, unfortunate. Ugh. Hmm. What? How can he choose it if it has Shroud? What? I need to Google this. Circle of protection red against shroud.
Oh my gosh, that's so stupid. Oh, great. Feels bad, man. I literally need to draw my natural state. I have two of them. I have about 30 cards to do it. Ugh. I already drew my ancient grudge. I'm just dead. It feels so bad. I can't, he can name it. Just to bolt him and try to live longer. Jeez. I can't believe I'm getting wrecked by this deck so hard. I mean, I can because he has circle protection red. And I can't draw my card that kills Circle of Protection Red, but... <sighs> I'm dead next turn, aren't I? Yeah, he can just... It's a source of damage. Oh. <gasps> Two, five, six, seven. I think I'm going to end a turn circle, hope to draw something good. I mean, natural state to circle. Yeah, it was a little bit too late. I needed it about 20 turns ago. Okay, I take six, end of turn, kill cop red. Unfortunately, he drew his sideboard card years before I drew mine, so. Yep, that's game. Unfortunate. Starting off 2-0 and then losing three in a row. <laughs> oh, man. Dang, I hate that we played against the same guy twice because I feel like his deck had a good matchup against ours. Ugh. We did not have the draws we needed to beat him. Dang, that's a bit tilting. Not going to lie. Him just having cop red. He literally won two games because of cop red. Jeez, every single one of our creatures is red. Every single one. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it for this uh, popper video. We started off 2-0, deck looked great, and then we got beaten three rounds in a row, twice by the same guy, so... And started with a uh, something ended with a started with a bang ended with a fizzle is how the saying goes I guess, but anyway uh, I think the deck's pretty solid I think it could definitely use some tweaks to deal with its flooding problem, um, definitely something to spend its man on I didn't love I didn't like elephant guide at all, elephant guide felt quite weak, um, yeah it just never did what I wanted to it was expensive, so. Yeah. Um, that's going to do it for this popper video. Could you wait like one second, Jack?
That's going to do it for this popper video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe to get updates for whenever I post new content. Um, if you have any questions or comments about the deck or the gameplay, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and I will happily respond with my thoughts or answers. If you have, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you would like to catch me streaming live, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. There will be a link to that in the description down below. Um, and yeah, I will have a link to the to Larian Community College original deck tech on this deck. Um, and be sure to check him out too. He's got a lot of great videos as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you next time.